Guys, amazing, amazing job on this film. I absolutely loved it. I binged it all last night, all three films, oh, and I'm going to watch wow. it again tonight. Because yeah, I'm a- let's go. It is so good. Uh, Gillian, Thanks, first girl. question for you. Absolutely. Gillian, first question for you. We explore Nick and Ziggy's relationship in Fear uh, 2, 1978, but how has their relationship evolved in uh, 1994? Well, I think it has been a long time since they have seen each other in person, but Mm. my feeling is that they've both spent a lot of time thinking about the other person. So it was, you know, Ashley and I only had a few brief moments together on screen, but you have to bring to it many years of history (laughs) and um, two people who have been apart, but yeah, probably spent a lot of their time thinking about the other person. Ash. Look, I love the way that your character is written because it throws you off all the time. Uh, can you talk to me a little bit about the good family and their reputation in Sunnyvale and uh, Shadyside? Yeah, uh, we, without giving anything away. Um, uh, it, it's, he, he is absolutely the pointy end of Sunnyvale. He's, uh, he's benefited from everything Sunnyvale has had to offer. And it's, there's a question about whether he's going to um, come to terms with that or not, or actually engage with that or not, and actually uh, ever question how his past has led him to where he is now, or whether he's just going to keep going or not. Absolutely. Now, Daryl, I actually feel like I related to your character the most. Uh, talk to me <laughs> about Martin and uh, his relationship, if you will, uh, with Sheriff Good. And does, how does Martin feel about the, the legend of Sarah Fear? Wow, um, it, it his relationship with with uh, Sheriff Good, I, it's uh, it's a bit of a rocky one. Um, there's clearly some 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 history there, um, but uh, you know that there, that's a that's a longer dialogue. But I, it is part of what we talked about. Like, I feel like Martin is like this. This is a black dude in a, in a small town, and and there's a sheriff that just doesn't like him. Right. Maybe just because he is black. I don't. I don't. You know. I. This is this not it's not a stretch or a reach to to say something like that. Um, I, I I think Martin is uh, is sort of a reflection of like how the audience sees the film because he has no idea what's going on. I just think that he's like I, there are these kids who are who it, it sort of starts off like maybe it's a bit of a, a joke to him and then it's like oh this is like this is like real um, and so without giving too much away um, I, I think that Martin is is very much experiencing some of the things for the first time that other people have had history, other characters have had a history of sure. dealing with. So everything feels kind of new to him. Well, look, Fear Street is amazing. I can't wait just to watch it again, but I can't wait for audiences to see it because it is so good. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, man.